Welcome back to Putman Gaming, where we teach you how to game like a boss. Today, we'll be doing a DPS showdown between Chong Yun and Rosaria. I think these are two of the top four star cryo DPS in the game. They're also support characters, so you know, you really get to choose how you want to use them and what role they take in your party. Both of these characters are amazing all around. So let's jump right into it. We will be testing their damage on a few different world bosses. The first world boss we're going to be testing damage on is Primo Geo Bishop, and I'll be using the national team for this test. So these are my Chong Yun stats. Currently he's 80 out of 80. Max HP 15,829. Attack 2,319. Defense 649. Elemental Mastery 72. I'm rolling with 42% crit rate, 131 crit damage, 181 energy recharge. Mm. Weapon is Wolf's Gravestone. Artifact Blizzard Strayer. Constellation C5. Talents 599. My Rosaria, she's sitting at 15 kHP uh, 1747 attack 774 defense and 54 elemental mastery we got 50 172 121 energy recharge I'm also using the primordial jade wing spear on her so both of these characters I've got five star weapons on them for this showcase to try to keep it fair then I have the same artifact set blizzard strayer then constellation six amazing character at constellation six Rosaria is really good at feeding crit so you're gonna get a lot of crit and you get a lot of attack speed talents four nine eleven okay let's jump right into the damage showdown The second boss we're going to be destroying is Magu Kenki. The third boss to taste the blade of Chong Yun and the spear of Rosario will be the Thunder Manifestation. I hope he's ready to be destroyed. I'm going in! Teamwork is dream! This. Your this is power for one. With a narrow victory, Chong Yun was able to beat out Rosario with only seconds to spare. As you can see, these two characters are both highly capable of doing massive amounts of cryo damage, melt damage, and freeze damage. So if you're looking into who to level up or what you would like to play, I would go with the character that you enjoy the most. Most four star characters in Genshin Impact are pretty well balanced. You have a few that are just horrible characters like Amber and Barbara, but the rest of the four stars are all pretty good characters. So if you're looking for a character to level up or someone that you would uh, 
that you're interested in, I would focus on play style over damage. And with that, I'm logging out.